All right, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up Web3 Modal. This library allows you to connect many different wallet providers to your decentralized application. I prefer Web3 Modal over other options for its balance between customization and ease of use. It also has some good documentation on its GitHub. I'm Jack, and on Eat the Blocks, we help Web2 developers transition into Web3. We'll be setting up Web3 Modal with the Ethers.js library. If you are unfamiliar with it, then check this video out first. All right, let's dive in. First, let's create our app with the Create React app, and then let's go into its directory. And here we'll install all of our packages. First, we'll need the Ethers.js and Web3 Modal packages. And then we'll also need the Coinbase Wallet SDK so that we can connect our site to it. Now open the project folder in your favorite text editor. Go into the main app.js file and remove all the starter code. I'm keeping the header in just for the formatting. Import the Web3 modal and ethers packages that we installed earlier. We'll first need to create a provider options object, which we will store our different wallet providers in. MetaMask is already there by default, and we'll add Coinbase later, so we're just going to keep it empty for now. Inside of the main app function, let's create a new async function called connect wallet. Create a try catch statement so that we can handle any of the wallet connection errors the right way. This is where we're going to create the first Web3 modal object. And here, we're going to pass in the cash provider and set it to false. And then we're going to also add in the provider options object, which we created earlier. Next, you're going to create an instance of this object using the web3modal.connect function. This is where our app will actually be connecting to your wallet. Now we will create the ethers provider object by passing in the Web3 modal instance. This will allow us to interact with the wallet just like any other ethers.js app. For now, I'm just going to log it to the console so that we can check it out on the website and view the different objects we have just created. Before we do that, let's add a header to the app and also create a button so that we can interact with the connect function. Once that's done, then you can go ahead and save the file and go back to the command line and then run npm start to start up your web server and then go check it out on the local host. On the website, click connect wallet and see that MetaMask pulls up for us to connect. After we connect, we can inspect the console and see what information we grabbed. The object sent to us is the ethers provider object. Inside of here, there is another provider object, which is the web3 modal provider. There are many different variables like the chain ID and wallet address that you can access from this object. You can also see that the ethers provider object has a lot of similar variables, along with some added functionality for us to use. Now let's go back into the code and add the Coinbase wallet. We will need to pass in the package name and then import it. You also need an options object. Inside this object, you can add an app name. The important part here is adding in your Infura ID. This takes in the chain ID that you are using and your provider's node address. If you are using the Robston testnet and Infura as your provider, then it's gonna look something like this. Now, once we click connect wallet, we get a pop-up asking what wallet we wanna to connect to. That's how easy it is to add extra wallets with Web3 modal. Now let's do something with the wallet once it's connected. Add a React hook to your app that will hold all of our ethers provider object. This is done with React's useState function, which will need to be also imported to your project. Instead of logging the provider to the console, let's set it to the hook that we just created. Now we wanna check if the wallet is connected to our site. If there is, we will display its address. If not, we will keep the connection button there. We're gonna use the ternary operator to check if our provider variable is null. If it's null, display the button. If not, we will add in some text. All right, let's go try out the site again. Once you have your wallet connected to the site, you're gonna see that the connection button is gone and there's gonna be a connected sign and your wallet address will appear. So that's it for this video. Now you know how to connect wallets to your decentralized application with Web3 modal. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.